Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be sharing my May BookTuber shoutout. So as always, I've basically gone through my comments, looked at some of the channels who uh, I've recently interacted with, and picked out some of my favourites from them. So as always, there are going to be 10 channels, and we'll just get started. All of these will be linked below as well. Number one, we have Jason's Weird Reads. Jason is a good friend of mine. He's a Canadian guy, a very chilled out, relaxed kind of person, very into horror. He's an author himself as well. And he just reads, again, because he's into horror, he reads quite a lot of indie and indie horror stuff. But a general, pretty wide reader in general. And uh, yeah, just a really nice, chilled out person who uh, I've shouted, out, shouted him out a bunch of times before because I just always enjoy his content and have done ever since I came across his channel, really. Definitely stands out as one of the uh, more interesting horror booktubers from my point of view. At number two, we have Fred Weasley Died Laughing, Aoife. Uh, she's an Irish booktuber. I think she's probably most notable, at least for me, for her um, reading vlogs. She's uh, also used to do like weekly reading wrap-ups, um, which can be a lot of fun as well. And she reads like a wide variety of stuff between like classics and contemporary classics, uh, and then like uh, a lot of Irish literature and Irish historical literature, and then a bit of YA and stuff thrown in as well. She uh, hosts the Irish Readathon with Leanne Rose. And uh, again, just a super approachable, chilled out, really, really cool booktuber who I've been watching for, for a good few years now. And number three, we have Mindy's Book Journey. So Mindy is another horror fan, although again, she reads a little bit of everything. Uh, she takes part in quite a few readathons here and there and does some great tags. In fact, I think the most recent video of hers that I watched was a tag. And again, me and M Mindy have been friends for a little while now. Um, I think she was involved in the January readathon that a bunch of us did a while back. In fact, I'm sure she was because then. For June Messiah, I couldn't be bothered to organise it, so she did it, and um, I just took part in it. So um, yeah, shout out to Mindy. She's been creating content for a while now, and is doing great. Then we have the book lady, Linda Jo Martin, and she reads a lot of Christian fiction and non-fiction, which is probably the only channel I watch that really does that. I mean, I'm not religious, but I think it's good to have this kind of diversity there. Um, but she also reads, again, a lot of classics, a lot of well-known contemporary stuff. I mean, she's not really a YA reader as such, although she will do here and there. Again, she's just another one of these people who reads just a huge selection of stuff. I mean, I think a little while back we were bond bonding over because um, we both read Bound for Glory by Woody Guthrie. And uh, I feel like not many people have read that one. So, um, yeah, shout out to Linda. And last I heard, I think she was going to live in a camper van. I don't know how plans have changed, but um, yeah. Next up we have Jaden Reads. Jaden Reads is one of those channels where I came across her a few months ago and I think she was relatively new at the time and it's just been great to see that she's continued growing since then, continued growing, uh, producing great content. Uh, she's actually got really quite high quality videos I think in terms of the audio and the, and the video and the production. And again she's one of those people who reads just a wide variety of everything. Uh, I never know what I'm going to get and that's why I keep going back. Then we have Alex Blackreads. Alex is, uh, again, one of my favourite booktubers for a while now. Um, I like her reading vlogs. Her wrap-ups are always interesting as well because she reads quite a little bit, quite a bit non-fiction as well as, again, wide variety of fiction, a bit of horror thrown into. Um, yeah, just a very cool, chill person uh, who, basically, because I've been watching her reading vlogs for so long now, I'm so invested in her life that I just sit there waiting for the next one to come along, you know? Then we have Bookham Jenna, again another super friendly booktuber, there's a theme here, everyone I shout out, I think everyone in the community in general is pretty friendly, you have the odd, odd bad egg, but um, yeah Jenna's like bubbly, full of life, um, definitely less laid back than somebody like Jason's Weird Reads, but in a good way, like she's not super intense or anything like that, just very cheerful and probably a good channel I would say to watch if you're feeling down and you just need cheering up. Then we have Charles Heathcote, so Charlie is an author tuber and a book tuber. I have a lot of love for Charlie, I mean, I love his R. Doris series of books. I also worked with him to edit his uh, An Heir to Murder, which is a like, kind of entertaining murder mystery. And um, yeah, Charlie reads a wide variety of stuff. At the time of filming, we're currently buddy reading The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. And we've buddy read a bunch of other stuff as well. He's recently got into Stephen King, which I think is quite cool. And um, When the World's Not in a Shambles. He works in a charity shop, which means he, he kind of discovered some pretty cool cool books through that. Then we have Graham Sillers Read Books. He's a Scottish booktuber, and I've uh, shouted him out a bunch of times now. Uh, unfortunately, again, a lot of the stuff that he does is some really cool like vlogs from the days out that he takes with his husband. And, of course, he hasn't been able to do that recently. I quite like his wrap-up style as well because he breaks them up, and so he makes them a lot more digestible. 
and again because he just reads such a wide range of stuff there's something in there for everybody and I, I always come away from his channel with some book I've never heard of but now I want to read which is bad for my uh, my ever-growing wish list but um, you know otherwise good and finally we have one book one review who I think her channel has been around for getting on for 10 years now one of the things that she does I, I like is that she has a goals check-ins and she does a great job of keeping herself accountable to them her monthly wrap-ups are quite statistics heavy and I'm kind of a bit of a data nerd and a data geek so I always like to see those and she also does a letter to the month each uh, a letter to the month each month where she talks about some of the things that have happened in her life and shares with a bit of a bit of footage that she's filmed along the way and again I guess I'm just a little bit nosy she's also a big Terry Pratchett fan so uh, you know back in the day I haven't done it so much recently but I used to go through people's old archives quite a lot and I'd be there looking at some of her old disc disc world reviews and they were always always worth a watch so there we have it those are 10 of the booktube channels that I've been enjoying throughout May or indeed June I don't know I don't know what month this is for but whenever you're watching it these are some of the booktube channels I enjoy as always don't forget to let me know in the comments some of the channels you've been enjoying so I can check them out Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to myself or to any of the channels I mentioned below for more Buckish videos. And I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot.